Hello there, mate. Welcome to this video. Uh, it's a sort of a let's render video. It's, more, it's not going to be a very long one, this one, because as you can see, I've already got a lot of the assets in place. So this is a bit of a weird situation to be in. Um, basically, what I want to do is I want to create an animated icon of the character here, the mum character, just kind of chilling out on the bed, wearing the clothes she's wearing now. She's just like reading a book or whatever. Um, and I'm going to create an animated icon of that so that I can put it into my game. Um, the issue I've got is that in order to create a realistic shadow I would either have to go in and draw it manually for every frame of the animation which means that it's probably going to go bonkers. So I'm trying to find an easier way of doing that and the easiest way of doing that is to create a shadow catcher. Easy enough I think you cry? Uh, yes it would normally be easy enough. But placing a shadow catcher, which I have here, inside an enclosed room causes the shadow catcher to not actually work. <laughs> it just becomes a white square, um, which is obviously not what we want. We want it to be invisible like it is, capturing the shadows of the character that's on it. So what you will see is if I actually come out of this mode, you can see that I'm cheating. This is actually an H this is actually a background image that I'm already using for my scene. And I'm just using that to capture the, to make sure that I'm basically getting things lined up. And as you can see, the character is actually just standing on a plane. Now, if I were to hide the background, what you would see is I've actually created an HDRI that matches the lighting where the character is standing, which is a complete faff. So essentially what you do is you place the camera like I have here in the center of the room and you render different exposures of the same scene using a spherical um, camera so if I was just to go into that camera camera 5 as you can see it's actually using spherical distortion to capture the room now obviously this is not really easy to explain using um, the current scene because I've already done the work so I'll probably do another video on that topic Suffice to say that this is a lot of faffery just to create a simple animated icon. However, um, it would be weird to have all my other uh, avatars in the game be animated and have this specific one not animated. So that's what I'm doing. So now I've just got to get her in a pose, which I'm going to do right now. Just got to find one of her laying down, reading a book. Searching by function, laying. And we'll see what we can come up with. So by function, a laying down. I know. The thing is, this is not meant to be a provocative pose. This is just a person that's chilling out on their bed. So this is not, I'm not looking for anything weird or sexy or anything like that. It's just a mum character. She's laying down, having a bit of a read or a bit of a think or whatever. So unfortunately, the majority of poses, again, I mean, you can finding a non-sexy laying down pose yeah good luck with that so it's really just a case of finding something that's vaguely normal i say go with this one and see how this looks see if we can get away with it she's just chilling out on a bed and great so we have to drop her down this is where going into Texture shading mode is going to be helpful. Give it a moment. Right, now you can see the plane and you can see that the uh, image I'm actually using as image as a background and that the lighting is coming from the HDRI that I created. So we're going to just bring it down. In fact, I'm going to hide that camera. Don't need that to be in the scene. Keep bringing it down. I might have to just go into perspective view mode for this one so that I get this right. Now, obviously, I need to rotate her 90 degrees, minus 90 degrees. I'm going to say minus 75, actually, so that she's not just laying completely perpendicular to the bed. Just makes it look a little bit more natural. And then we can bring her down. Right, what is... Oh, it's her jeans that are sticking down. So she's kind of sinking into the bed, which is good. What we want... I just need to lift her up a smidge so that her fingertips aren't completely down into the bed. But I'm going to have to actually manually move her fingers. I right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. There we go. Just going to move those and bend them slightly. 
there, that way. And then the same with this one. No, not a forearm. There we go. Upper arm even. Yeah, learn uh, the basic parts of the human body. All right, so now we go back to our camera two. She's there. We can go back into uh, NVIDIA IRA mode and realistically it should now look like she's just laying on the bed. We will find out. All right, cool. So now it looks like she's just laying on a bed. Pretty simple stuff. It's a, it, it, <laughs> I can't stress to you how um, how much faffing there is involved in this, but obviously it's really important to capture this as realistically as possible. Now that I've got her in the pose that I want, I can just move her along a little bit more so that she's a bit closer to the end of the bed and not like up by the pillows because that's kind of a bit weird. So we've got her in a roughly the right place I think there yeah in your own time Mr. PC give it a moment to have a think right and now we can see the edge of the plane so we can now move the plane a little bit as well there we go that should hopefully reduce that you might need to bring it towards me a little bit more just so that it's hanging off the edge of the bed. We don't want to capture two, there we go, that's a lot better. That's more like what we're after. Cool, so now we need to simulate the hair and then we can apply the animation. I'm not going to bother simulating the hair for the animation because she's barely gonna be moving her head. Most of the movement is going to be in her chest and torso. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just going to run this simulation real quick and then I'll be right back with you. All right, so, I've adjusted the pose ever so slightly and simulated the hair so now it looks a little bit more natural. Now so we're going to bring up our timeline and we've got 32 frames per second and total frames need to be 32. I don't know why it always adds one to the frames per second but there you go. So now we've got our anima oh look our animation is already there so we'll just run a quick play on this. I don't really need to do this in NVIDIA IRO mode probably going to regret that yeah you can see she's breathing we're happy cool we're gonna we're gonna pause that before it goes any more mad bring it back to uh, frame one uh, realistically the reason i'm running the simulation is just to make sure that weirdly when you apply any blocks sometimes in um dash studio for some reason the first frame jumps position so you end up with an annoying like frame one that's basically completely useless to you so just run the simulation to make sure that her translate her xyz doesn't jump during the animation and that's pretty much what i just did there so now going into my render settings i'm going to just bring this over here so you guys can see it all of this is basically fine we can we can leave that for now so we're going to go into our general as you can see 1920 by 1080p that's the uh, that's the resolution of the game that i'm rendering for so we're going to change this to image series like that check that it's right for 031 and i've already got a um, folder set up there so i'm just going to call this uh mom bed uh, lay and then that's cool so the next thing that we need to do is go into progressive rendering I'm going to turn off quality and i'm going to set the max samples to be uh 1000 like that is a fairly she's fairly close to the camera so we need the red the number of uh, samples to be fairly a bit higher than usual so we'll set that to a thousand next thing i'm going to do is go into filtering and um, god forbid i'm actually going to turn on the posty noiser and i'm going to set that to start at frame 975 so it's not going to jump into a right at the end of our samples so that's that bit done now we need to basically create our canvas because we only want the mum and the plane so we don't need any of the other nonsense in the scene that's all we need so we're going to go into advanced going to go into canvases create a canvas going to add plus ones there so we've got canvas one beauty perfect we're going to tick alpha there as well now we need to create a node list i'm just going to create a node list give it a standard name nl1 now we're going to choose which nodes are in it so we want this bad boy we want her eyelashes her eyebrows we want her hair and her hair cap we don't really care about the anatomical hair 
earrings you can't really see them but we can include them anyway just in case necklace is the same shirt shorts boom we also want the plane to be in our canvas so we hit accept now we're going to hit uh, this bar and we just select node one so that chooses the nodes that we've just selected and then all i have to do is hit the render button and that will create my 32 frames that i can then turn into a film strip animation so that's what i'm going to do and it's basically going to take a while to do that so um that's all i'm going to show you in this video <laughs> rest assured it will work either way thanks ever so much for watching guys i hope you found that interesting if nothing else let me know what you think in the comments below i'll see you in the next one but until then you take damn good care of yourselves all right bye bye